We begin in Indonesia with the first sign of the submarine which has been missing for days. Search teams have recovered debris believed to be from the vessel. The military chief said that scans detected the sub at a depth of 850 meters. It's calculated that its oxygen supplies ran out several hours ago, but the Navy said it would continue to search for possible survivors. 53 crew members were on board. Let's go live now to Jakarta. Al Jazeera's Jessica Washington is there. Uh, the military was giving a press conference, which uh, ended uh, a few moments ago. Jessica, what did we learn? Well, Adrian, military officials described these latest developments as deeply concerning. The debris you mentioned, they discussed what exactly was found, uh, and they've also declared that the status has now changed from sub-miss to sub-sunk. Now, some of that debris includes the to torpedo launch pipe, a plastic bottle of grease, which is used uh, for the periscope, uh, Korean uh, debris with some Korean writing because this submarine was refitted in South Korea and returned to Indonesia in 2012, sponges used uh, to clear condensation, and also items used for prayer. Now, now that the status has officially changed to sub-sunk, sub uh, authorities say they are deeply concerned about these developments because the fact that they have found this debris in this area, this search of the Bali Sea, indicates to them that there are cracks in the hull of the submarine as it's sunk into deep waters. Now, they do say that they are going to persevere with this effort, this effort involving uh, 16 Indonesian Navy vessels and an Australian Navy ship as well. They are continuing to search this area and making preparations for medical evacuations. As you mentioned, oxygen supplies on the ship, on the submarine, may have already deplete, depleted in the case that there was a total blackout on the submarine. Authorities say they can't rule out that there may be a possibility that there might not have been a blackout, and in that instance, there should have been enough oxygen on the submarine for five days. Now, authorities are being very careful to stress that uh, this is a very serious situation, but they say at this point they cannot comment on the 53 crew members and whether or not they are still alive. All right, for the moment, Jessica, many thanks indeed. Jessica Washington reporting live from Jakarta.